I said I want to work with him. Why? Because he is good in English. Even though he studied, by the way, uh, in French and in, uh, in uh, Germany also in German. But still he is good in the, the way he is presenting himself, the way he is approaching the thing. And this affects a lot of things, you know. Yeah. And, uh, Thank you for that. Uh, when we talk about Sulu Capitol, what do you understand? Imam, do you get sorry? And we will come uh, we will come here. Can you present yourself just a second? Yeah. Uh, my name is Ram uh, Junior. I'm from Kretem. Kretem is uh, Consortium Wange, the exportation of the farin, the manize, the manioc. Around the world, 
So what, how can we capitalize in this capital? Which means, the capital is what? The woman value or the woman reputation in Rwanda. How can I make money from that? Because the subject here is about capitalizing on non-financial wealth. Okay? I mean, I want to make money from this. How can we make money from that? So that you understand the story you are trying to create here. Yes, yes brother. Yes. How we can capitalize on that? Yes. I think women here in Iran are more accurate than, than men. Their, their work rate is more accurate mm -hmm. than men, even though they learn faster than men here in Iran. This is all over the world, by the way, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I think we must capitalize on that because we, we are talking here, we are going making a business. Yes. On my behalf, I will rather to try to teach our ladies first. In order to to make others learn more faster than than what I think. Okay, I think this is very low uh, capitalization. I mean, the term it is good if you are having factory. Uh, maybe I'm not sure if I told you or not, but we said this in the uh, workshop of women development, women advancement. I work with Japanese for five years. Okay, and we have many factories around the world, even in Germany and Singapore. Saudi Arabia, we have also some small factories. And mostly in the development, and especially in Japan and so on, you know, when you enter the factory, you don't see men. You see always women. Because women have two things that men does not have. Ability of being focused for a long time, and they can stand even, you know, a long time, longer. Their capacity, their weight, they build up, so that they carry children they, for a long time and so on. They are stronger than men in that issue. Second thing, ability to be accurate and precise. Mm -hmm. And you know the difference between accuracy and precision, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, precise means you can hit in the middle. They don't make errors. So their error rate when they do, you know, for the telephones and so on, you'll see even if you now enter Japanese industry, in the YouTube, you'll find always women, not men, 90%. Because they, their, their uh, error rate is much less. Okay, but still I say this is much lower capital compared to what I, I Rwanda have. Still we can capitalize more. So I, I want to hear from you how we can we make more money on this story. So today I can invest with you if we agree on this. Okay. Yeah, because this is what is what we call it this in economy. We call it lost opportunity. It is there, but nobody is doing. Most of the people what they are talking about. Women collecting coffee. So go and buy coffee from Question, uh, question Coffee. This is what they are looking for, right? But this is not what uh, you have here. You have much more than that. Yes. Maybe yeah. I need it for the time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I will tell you a short story uh, of one, one of the women who went to Europe. So when I went to Europe, uh, she talked to me and uh, I asked uh, her why did she choose to be a midwife uh, at the hospital. And, uh, and the woman told me, uh, the senior doctor said, who you have good hands yeah, that can be proactive, be produced for, for being a midwife at the hospital. Yeah. That is one, one example. Uh, her physical appearance, uh, I mean, her hand and the, the, the way she was appearing, and the doctor sh uh, said, uh, We can employ you in this area. You can yeah. help other women yeah. to deliver babies and whatever. This is an example. Yeah, of course, in Rwanda, women in Rwanda have a lot of potentials. Uh, they, they now uh, they, they, they can even be. Uh, recruited for many activities, including uh, transport, yeah. transportation. Many private sector uh, or business people here are giving jobs to women yeah. as drivers of bus buses or maybe drivers of motorbikes. Yeah, uh, there are still <coughs> few. There are very few still, but the more entrepreneurs are using them. For that. Okay, you are aspiring to talk, but still, uh, of course, you are. You are talking about something that uh, it is lower, I think. Okay. 
Ooh, so we have to see, now we have women, right? <laughs> we can look at women. See now all of this are sources for for what? For capital wealth. Capital Okay. We can look at women as a reputation of women of Ramanda. Okay. We can look at women as a labor. Okay. We can look at women as a human capital that is uh, accurate and so on, so they don't make uh, mistakes. Mm -hmm. We can look at women as knowledge capital. Okay. Uh, Sorry? Uh, Loyalty, uh, knowledge capital, I can put it even under here, which is attitude and so on. You remember we talked about the Filipinos, right? Mm -hmm. So it is here. And loyalty, as you said, they work for longer hour. Okay. But what, see, the most, let's, uh, which one of them is the most uh, one that will make money? Let's say we want to make a company now. But I'm serious, I'm serious, there. I'm not joking. I want to make a company on that. Okay? Which one is the one which is, will bring me more money? Um, three of them, I think. Huh? All of them. All of them, yeah, I know, but I mean, you can't work on all of them. I want to specialize in one thing in the beginning. Okay, in the Huh? Labor? No? Because you, your profit margin you're going to bring, let, put it, let me put it in like this, okay? The profit margin you're going to bring uh, from this for them, because by the way, we need to make profit from them and we make a profit to them. Yes, otherwise. Otherwise we'll be greedy, we'll be selfish. Okay? So uh, do you think if we deal with them as labor? I can see them. Uh, not only in, uh, here in most Africa, I don't think men. They can carry this one for maybe uh, one kilometer, like this, right? Mm. Okay. But you can see that most of the women in Africa, they carry 10 kilogram over their head for maybe uh, five kilo. They, five or 10 kilo, I've seen this in Ghana and different countries. Okay, and they never say, ask or have pain or something like this. They will carry even this every day. They'll go and sell their product. That they, 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 and they are like agriculture or whatever they did at home. They go to the market for maybe 10 kilo and they come back bringing also another products or exchanging, you know, yeah. for the money, for the, there. This is most of the women. So they are, they are very, very good at that, by the way. But you shouldn't be there. Okay, always. Okay. We will need people always that to work on that business, but not in this way and not in that. But what is the most important thing that most people they don't capitalize on? Because we said the non-financial direct now. Because this, by the way, more of financial wealth. Capital-based economy, which is this guy I'm trying to brainwash his uh, brainwash him. I've been working on him the last one month so far. I am uh, not, uh, I said I'm too committed to uh, Rwanda University. Okay. But uh, this is capital-based economy. Most of the capital, based economy, the design, the, the theories, came around labor people. Yeah. Okay, we we'll talk about uh, uh, Faber or, or Marx or these people. Most of them, they wrote these concepts around these people. Okay, but this is the real thing, which is, we call it lost or big lost opportunity. Okay. What is the reputation of Rwanda, we said? Is that, for example, you have women that is leaders, that is, okay? Okay, now what does bring me? indirect money called something very important it's called goodwill okay the goodwill value is very high example okay and instead of bringing uh, and making business with these ladies okay and make from them profit and we and they get profit and they might get we the company might profit at the end of the day after one month let's say one thousand dollar okay I can bring one visitor from our country or other leading countries and they see the experience of a Rwandan woman, how much changes she's doing in her community. Okay. Well, because most of the countries they want to learn, even developed countries, quote unquote, because developed, I'm a little bit preservative about it. Okay, they told us they are developed, but I, we can see their values. Most of the time they are not developed from their values and so on. Okay. When, once we start capitalizing the, in the goodwill of what is Rwandan, for example, a leader in the, in the village, people go and visit and live with them for one day. Okay? 
they are willing to pay you, and you can see this is uh, always I, I tell you about uh, this uh, website for uh, uh, for visitors, you know, for tourism. I want to remember it anyway. Okay, I remember it now. I'll tell you about it. You, you the people go just to live with the, the, in that village. Maybe they are very rich people. Just to learn how this leader is doing every day, her business or dealing with the community and so on. Yeah. And they are willing to pay 1,000 instead of paying for more than maybe 100 people working here and they are working as hard labor, you know, hard labor as well. So I mean, do you have here a wealth that can be capitalized on? Because you did not reach here so far, as he said. Okay, Victor? Yeah. Well, you did not reach here, which is the knowledge capital. So far, you are still picking up. You are not the best countries in that. Yeah. But you are clearly here, yes, which we don't want. And you are clearly here. Okay? You have many women leaders who have, can have a good, a good will, value, can raise the good will value of any company that I can capitalize on. Okay. Mm -hmm. am, I, am I clear? Yes. Yeah. Very good. Thank you very much for the set for uh, the dialogue. Yeah. 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 And uh, we have then what you call social capital. Social capital, will, so that we don't delay. Social capital, uh, what is social capital? Yeah. If I give you 5,000 to go to visit your mother who is sick, I don't wish any mother being sick here, but, <laughs> but it happens. Okay, I can say, oh, you have uh, a wedding? Yes, I gave you 10,000. Yeah. That is a social cap. That is what you call social capital. Social capital is just the benefit from social networking. If I can uh, simply define it, as Putnam mentioned. Yeah. So uh, when we talk about social capital, it is very relevant in terms of development, uh, especially human development and uh, 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 national development at large. Because, for instance, Putnam. Uh, Putnam uh, says that yeah, social capital is very important. Yeah. And uh, in Rwanda, who can tell me a place where social capital is very high in Rwanda? Hmm? In rural areas.
they work all the neighbors men and they go to help the woman to go to to the hospital because most of us uh, in, uh, from the village we are not close to the roads so that uh, that cohesion that unity uh, can be used to make something also better huge. this is a huge uh, wealth it's a wealth that I can't find anything we miss in our country brother. yes and uh, another thing I saw yeah. here in Gere when we do Muganda go there, I go and tell people, but in my countryside, uh, in the village of uh, 100 people, for example, uh -huh. at least 80 people are there, uh, uh, which is something special, so there is... Uh, Doctor, uh, now he just graduated, good, and he said, I became rich from go uh, you have goats. <laughs> yes, they gave me some goats. So you can see, this is, you, it's not available here, here it's, it's not in the, the capital. They are not uh, available here. And if he gets married, yeah. you won't contribute. This is what, uh, even for the graduation, I was amazed yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, graduation. Yeah. So many people I've seen in his photos. <laughs> so this is what's happening with him. You're getting married. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> this is only uh, coming to congratulate me. Yeah. Yeah. And if, you, and if, uh, and if you get, he builds a house, as a, a very new house, they bring uh, food inside. People bring food. Yes. So when you can do even during the construction. What is the name of that activity? Umu it's called the Umu Sam called Umu Gada or Masai. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Chelsea, can you explain me? You have been a rope leader anyway. Oh, I remember everything in the area, they love each other. In fact there is a relationship among citizens. They know if you are sick, all of them they come to visit you. Yes. Know how you are Believe me, we miss this a lot in many countries. <laughs> yani, uh, I can tell you more, th uh, more than 90% of the world who live in the global cities, they call them. You know, you know like Dubai, like you know, Bahrain, yeah. like this. We don't have, we, we used to hear our grandparents say it about that, not even our parents. They don't have smartphone. They go, each house, they say, oh, it's a bit calm. We have to support our yes, neighbor. Yes. He's sick. We have to bring him to a hospital. No, even in, in the rural areas, because I work there, yeah. uh, suppose someone is uh, at the age of getting married, yeah. he does not. Yeah. They, they are never as come and ask, yeah. what do you miss? Do you have dowry? Uh, you don't have uh, any plot to build the house or what? Well, what he says, I have plot, but no means to, to build the house. They bring, uh, the, they, they could build to help him yeah. to build the house. So they have what they have, what we call the collective wealth, yes. which we don't have. Yes. We have personal wealth. We have a house, we have a car, we have blah, blah, blah. But we don't have the collective wealth, which is they have. And this is more sustainable now. For sustainability, this is more sustainable. Because house can grow any time, we got forbid with a fire or something. Yes. You can lose your money because if you are having debts or something. So this is something yeah. that is uh, among, that is word, among the communities, Christian communities here, mm -hmm. we still have those uh, kind of values and people are really engaged. I mean, we always collect money for wedding of someone, we always collect money for someone who is sick. We always collect money for those who are very poor. Yeah. So we are doing that, I mean, from uh, January up to December, and mm. the people are really engaged. But I'm asking you a question. Uh, uh, have you ever seen a negative characterization of social capital? If yes, tell me. Or yes. positive. Because you told me always things which are positive. They are also <laughs> negative things. Eh? You raise a pen and then he follows, yeah? Yeah. Uh, we are the example of, for yeah. instance, in the Muslim district, mm -hmm. you know what to call the, you know, the class, they call them our color. They, mm -hmm. they got the party, they contribute in order to make sure that they want their representative. Yeah. In, in terms of, it seems like he was a king, they want to. Yeah, but th there were some they, they other people behind that. They contribute to cows, they contribute to money. Yeah. It was not good for another side because it destroyed the human, the unity of the modern society. Yeah. Because yeah. we don't, we trust the leader. Is it the leader? What I didn't get. It was uh, a party. In Rwanda, it's prohibited. 
it's oh, okay. uh, to do political activities based on religion, based on uh, ethnicity or uh, background, tribal background. I mean. Yeah, if you want to do any political activity, you you were the person, not the uh, the group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so recently, uh, as she said, one tribe called the Bakuno uh, wanted to establish a king. But there was other people behind. It's so not, it's not a seen to make a fun of it. But the problem was the hidden agenda about few leaders who were behind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even okay. military people. Yeah. Okay. And so it brought a chaotic uh, thing on unity and reconciliation. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah, that is one uh, one strong thing. But don't go to strong thing. Go to simple. I need an example from Singapore. Singapore, 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 right? I still remember, oh, it was in 2009. Mm. Uh, we were studying at Koma as I am so. Mm. Our classmate asked for fundraising to go to. That's what I needed. Mean, exactly. To go to. for medical. Uh, medical reason in Kenya. We finalized it, and then once he collected the money, he didn't go there. He, didn't go there. Yeah. he went somewhere and he joined the power <laughs> and then he came back. Yeah. But uh, when we contribute our, our money, and we, then we repeat. Everyone said, Why did I do this? That's a, that's a negative side. Yeah, than South. 
Because most of the companies, or maybe person who went bankrupt in his shop or whatever, sometimes he relies on social capital to take over again. In, for instance, in the northern uh, province, uh, for instance, in Basse, for instance, uh, when you have, uh, you are going bankrupt as a business person, other business person collect money for you once, and they can even do that twice. The third time they say, it's okay, you, you are going there. But they tried twice to help you. That is uh, one of the examples of social capital that we can capitalize on. When we talk about natural capital, uh, we will not delay on that. Um, but natural capital are, for instance, the good air condition we have, uh, the good uh, environment, minerals, gas, oil, those are natural capital we talk about. And mostly uh, when, of course, there is no link as as Scott Webb here has, uh, uh, I didn't prepare this uh, PowerPoint. Uh, uh, Mario has prepared that for me and think it's here. But the network is necessary. When you lose natural capital, the human capital will not have a, a ground to work on. Yes. yes. And when you lose uh, uh, human capital, yeah. natural capital is also rich as well. That is why we have the concept of what we call resource cars. Resource cars. Many economists like OT, for instance, discuss about this. It is linked, and that is why my uh, leader who, who, who tried to make this nice PowerPoint tried to show the interlinks. If there is no interlinks... By the way, they're very interesting for Africa. Yes, yes exactly. Very interesting. Yeah, they, they, in Africa, if you if you uh, had even the minimum of uh, each one of these, yes. you would be uh, very rich countries and uh, developing uh, developed exactly. countries. But what they do, they uh, you know the, uh, the especially the West or uh, other countries, they try to cut the links between these ones. Exactly. Yes. That is what is true. For instance, uh, let's say for instance Qatar and Angola. Angola, uh, I think Angola have a lot of, of uh, oil, but uh, it's poorer than, many times than Qatar. Yeah. Well, you know why? Because of uh, resource cars, human capital. Most of the workers of the, uh, the, the oil come from abroad. High paid, they come in a plane, they eat food from the hotel. There is no Network on the ground, which we call increased economies. Yeah, uh, what he says is true. Africa, if you don't have social capital, uh, human capital, the, our resources uh, also uh, are not very good. Doctor, but since we are uh, again, we are going to be uh, to critique as from uh, you know top down. Yeah. For bottom up. Yeah. How can we capitalize again? This is a question for you. Yeah. Not necessarily you answer it today, but this is uh, one of the purpose of dialogues. How can you make a, a business? Let's say you have a social capital, huge network, you know, you know lots of uh, you know, women in your village yeah. or something like this. Okay? And you, you have the idea, which is the human capital side. Mm -hmm. okay? And you know that there is a land or certain area that we can work on it. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you know, you have the physical capacity to work on that land. Here, do you think it will be, for example, for me, because I don't know whatever you know, I will have to use a lot of financial capital to compensate. For you, you can do it for $1,000, I, I need to do it with maybe $20,000. So you can imagine, this is where these are very highly linked. And what we are saying always, eliminate the financial capital in the beginning, so that you discover how much you have wealth. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. And this is very important. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How to make it a synergy?